Hello everyone, uh, today we are going to show you how to create a three-way fan diagram. In this diagram, uh, we have seven labels and the three circles because there are seven sections. And the, all of this will need 10 data marks, right? Three for the circles and the seven for the labels. Also, there's something uh, particular I need to point out is that the, the seven is at the center, uh, which will have a coordinate of zero and a zero. For the other uh, nine points, uh, we will need to calculate their coordinate. However, there's some patterns here. The three circles, their center will form a triangle of equal size. And for the point label one, three, five, it also forms a triangle of equal size. And the same for point two, four, six. In the data set, it only has two independent columns. So the first is point, which is uh, the index of the point and the type is for labels and the circles. So we have seven labels and the three circles. Everything else will be created from these uh, two columns. First, let's show you how we calculate the coordinate of X. Here's the formula. Voila. We have uh, labels and the circles uh, separately. And for the point seven, uh, which is in the center, it has the X coordinate equals zero. And for point one, three, five, which forms a triangle, here is the formula to calculate the X coordinate. Here is a, a similar formula calculate for the point two, four, six. And for the circles, uh, here we are calculate at the coordinate for the center of the circles. So you can see the details later. For the Y coordinates, they are separate. They are not in a single column because we will use dual axis. So the calculation is actually very similar. We just need to change it from cosine to sine. Same for the Y label. However, uh, when we place uh, this point on the canvas, the position may change depending on the size of the canvas. So we need to actually fine tune the position relative to each other, the circles and the label. So here are two parameters uh, which uh, may change from 0 to 2, which allows us to fine tune the positions. The label range is also similar. Then we use these two parameters to scale the, the coordinate. If it's label, I use the label range parameter. If it's circle, I will use the circle range parameter to scale the coordinate, uh, similar for the Y. So let's get started. I want to show you also the label is uh, something we can customize. I'm using just some simple text here. Drag scaled X and the scale the circle. Let's hide the mouse and the circle. We want to maximize it. However, it's not big enough. I created this field, which is just one. Okay, just one. Let's drag this into size. Boom, it's bigger. Let's use the non-transparent circle mark to make it a bit transparent. And the add color to it and uh, let's also make them closer from a minus two to plus two voila so they are much closer and then we also want to uh, scale the axis 2.5 because uh, because it, you know, three circles are not symmetric uh, versus the uh, horizontal axis. We need to make it 2.5 and the minus two. Next, let's put the labels into the row and it just copied the previous. Uh, let's make it small and put the label there. We want to wash out the point. Now we are ready to dual axis synchronize. So we and uh, hide the headers. We're almost there. Let's uh, create a canvas, which is uh, not so big. Drag it there. Voila! Very close. So I show you how the parameter works. 
and the if you see we can fine tune the position of the labels and the position of the circles that's about it okay thanks for watching uh, see you next time